Howdy y'all, welcome to Lex Live. I think it's time we play a little Minecraft. Let's make sure I never remember to do this before I hit record. Uh, so, I have been doing a little work here and there uh, on the on the rooms that I've already got worked on. Um, Went and got some more quartz. Of course, I've used most of that up already, because quartz is terrible, terrible material to get your hands on in any large quantity. Basically, I need to go into the nether and spend an afternoon just wandering around, I think, grabbing as much, uh, much of the materials as I can get my hands on. Uh, I did come up with the change to to the house. Uh, I'm not going to put coal because coal is ridiculously also difficult to get in large quantities because I need to keep using it to cook things. <laughs> and so I'm going to start using black wool as the uh, source of black on the outside of my house. Um, I also decided lapis was too difficult to get for uh, the roof and the upstairs, the ceiling, I mean, not the roof. And so I have gone ahead and switched that over to blue wool. Just because it makes things easier. But since I switched over to the black wool, you can see I got quite a bit of the front of my house here done. Uh... Which is nice. Ow. Uh, I am running the newest snapshot. Uh, which is 1.8.1.2 pre-release or something like that. Uh, it's supposed to offer some performance enhancements. Um... I don't know that I'm really seeing them. I'm always doing too much on my heart or on my computer anyways. Uh, like right now, I've got, uh, uh, you know, I'm recording and playing and I've got some stuff downloading and, you know, it just gets busy. Um, I've decided to go with the uh, brown wool for the carpet since we don't have access to tan wool that I'm aware of anyways. And I think that'll be okay. Uh, this room was also done up in tan wool. Um, I was trying to think. I, of course. I hit record. The phone starts ringing. So I... Uh, I think... I'm pretty sure I had another story to tell in this room. And I... I've been trying to remember what exactly it was. Um, I, I told the story about the bat coming out of the corner, right? And all the dudes who were in the house took off running. So maybe I don't have any more stories uh, for that room. So let's talk about this room. This room was the attic. Uh, and... So when uh, when I was a kid, uh, we didn't really come in here too often because this is where they stored all the really, really expensive, fragile things and antiques and things like that. Um, and all the stuff, because uh, let's face it, my family's a bit of pack rats. They just are, and including me. And so... Uh, we had a lot of stuff we probably didn't actually need. And so, um, eventually, eventually though, um, when I graduated from high school, and uh, when you graduate from high school, you do uh, your open house and you get money, right? And so, I had decided that, uh, I already knew where I was going to college. I went to college near home. And so, there was no reason for me to you know, not live at home. 
I don't know. Like I said, I grew up in a large household, so we spent a lot of time at home, and I uh, still do, actually. <laughs> uh, but, uh, um, so I decided that uh, I would take my money that I got from my open house, and I would remodel the attic into a nice big room for myself. And uh, the reason being is I needed place to do my college work, and, uh, uh, you know, and so I had just gotten a computer, you know, like a year or so before, and I really needed more room. And so that's what we did. We took the money and we started, started work on this room. Now I'm trying to lay this out. This isn't quite right. Uh, is, there's a problem here that this isn't quite right. But there isn't anything I can do about it. So you're just going to have to take it the way it is. Uh, I actually think this needs to move back one. So this room is really weird shaped. Uh, what we've got is you've got a house that was built in pieces and so none of the pieces quite match up and uh, I think this will be fine and so like I said you've got you've got the wall in this room here should be here. Instead, it's over here. Uh, and so it's actually over the ceiling of the room below it. Um, to get into this room was a step down. <laughs> to, uh, to get into this room over here was a step up. Um, and so... But it was all one building with a single roof when we lived... When, you know, when I lived in it. And, uh... So, the roof, though, was all slanted and stuff, right? And so, these upper rooms didn't really have... Well, these rooms did, but this room was bare to the studs when uh, I decided to remodel it. And uh, so, I need... I need a couple of blocks actually here, like that. Uh, now, I can't do this quite the way it's supposed to be, right? Because what I had was uh, dark trim around the walls, and so I've decided to do it this way. And uh, I think I might have a trick for the corners I'm going to try out. Uh, but I'm not sure that it will work. But let's uh, let's go ahead and make up a... I don't want to keep running back down to use the crafting table. So I'm going to throw a crafting table up here. Luckily, this room does not have white ceilings. <laughs> uh, and so we won't have to worry about that. But I think... I th think I can do this with stairs. Uh, I do need to go back down, though, and get some oak wood. Uh, I can't do this without oak wood. I think I've thrown all my oak wood off. But yeah, so we uh, we had the open house. I didn't, I didn't even want an open house. I didn't really care. And then I was like, oh yeah, maybe we can remodel the attic then with the money. I don't know. I just... It didn't... didn't I'm probably going to use a lot of stuff stairs in this build, actually. Do I just have some oak? I see a lot of birch. Some jungle. I'm not sure the jungle wouldn't be a closer match for what it looked like. Um, what I did was... Uh, uh, <laughs> picking out the colors was just one of those things where I'd pick out what I wanted and then we went with something else. You know what, right here's some right here's some oak stairs that I'm not using at the moment. 
can just take these. This is going to get torn down anyways. Might as well recycle the bits and pieces I'm not using. Right? But, uh, so we wound up with, uh, I don't even remember what I was going to do with it, but they had this, um, they had this, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of what it's called, uh, exterior siding that was, uh, unfinished, and so that's what we wound up using for, um, for the walls on this room, and I liked it. I, uh, I really liked the way, well, okay, it could have turned out better. Um, we never did anything quite, oh, I got a little bit here too. My poor sawmill. This is the last vestiges of my sawmill. But, uh, we, uh, we always seem to, like, almost get it good. And then, you know, there'd just be something horrible with whatever finish. So, like, like, for example, my, uh, my cousin got the windows for the room. And because he could get them... Like, I think he got them for free. And so because he got them for free, because uh, he, they were tearing down a house and they were just going to throw it all away, uh, and so he carefully removed the windows because they were fairly new windows, and uh, uh, they didn't fit the openings of the house because the windows in that room were just huge, like tall. Um, same width as a normal window, just really tall compared to a normal window. And so, so the, uh, the one window never did get finished correctly. Like I tried, but I am not good with heights. And so being second floor windows, I, I'm not exactly sure why it never got finished, but, uh, they basically just said, oh yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. And uh, that's the way it went. That's the way a lot of things went, honestly. And so... I just remember having to uh, block off the window in the winter because wind and snow would come in through the gaps because the window had never been finished. And, uh, and I wasn't really sure how to do it. Like, I know how to replace a window... If you measure it so it fits in the old opening, I don't know what to do when they're... I, I mean, I guess I could have torn it out, but I didn't put it in. My my cousin put it in, which is... I don't know. He, he gave up, I guess, partway through putting in the window. And uh, so that was, that was it. That was the end of putting in the window. I wish I could put this stuff in here the way it actually looks, but... There isn't much of a chance of that. Um, but so... Uh, some of this some of this didn't get finished until later. Um, I think I actually want to take this out here. And we're going to do this. And... Uh, I think we're going to do this. This seems much bigger than it was. But I know there was barely a, a gap here for this. Uh, and then in here, this was just all... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This was like that. And then, oh, this is wall. This is wall right here. That's the problem. That's the problem. I've gone back too far because this is the interior wall. Yep, got this. I got this. Oh, I just tore up some of my interior wall. And uh, so, I don't know. Anyways, um, so I know that in this room, because they started some of it and then, like, I don't know, this is, I guess because I was getting older, I, w I would get a little disgusted by some of the 
sloppiness that went on. Uh, like, for example, uh, we put in... Because I, I remodeled... The, well, I didn't remodel this room necessarily. I was the semi-architect of what happened in this room. And so I made sure to put in a ton of plugs. Because that was something that we didn't have in most of the rest of the house. Was good sets of plugs. Uh, and so... You know what? This isn't even like this here. I don't know why I've got that like that. This was... Wall. I'm going to go to there with it, though. Yeah? Kind of like that. And then I'm going to put one more piece in here. And then this would have gone like that. And then this would have gone like that. I guess. It would have been lower. It would have been like right here. <laughs> um, and then this was this was wall, and then we got this like that. Uh, it would have been shorter than that. And then this goes like that. And then we do that, and then we do this okay and see that's going to help me design the top here but uh so yeah all right so i go around and put in plugs right i put in plugs like, okay, so we decided there was going to be a closet. And uh, and so we started on the closet, we got up a wall, and then that was as far as I got. They got up one wall, this wall right here. And then this part over here, I finished later. I Once I was the person doing all the remodeling in the house, which was way later, years later, um, this was as far as they got right here, um, was this wall. And so this here just had a big sheet of um, of the outside plywood stuff over top of it, and that was it. That's the way it stayed. So this was uh, four, about four foot across, I think, and about eight feet tall right here, which I don't know how to do. I guess technically, technically it should be two blocks across and four blocks high. <laughs> But uh, that's that seems a little shrinky dink for uh, what we're doing here. And then this back here, I will need a block here. And then we do this. And then that. Except we can't do that. Nope. Okay, then what we do is we do this. Which gets us the same thing. Yep, just like that. Okay, and then we do that, and then we do this. And so this room being at the studs, um, we didn't put a ceiling in it. We just we just boarded the whole thing up, uh, or you know, paneled. The whole thing. I made sure the whole thing got insulated. This room was not insulated when I was younger, uh, and so I made sure um, a lot of things. A lot of things happened. Kind of. Um, uh, how do I want to say this? A lot of things that got done in this room got done renegade style, and. Uh, and so, uh, uh, what we wound up with was, all right, and then this would be like this. 
Um, <laughs> what I mean by that is, like, for example, um, the... The, uh, in the middle of the room, okay, there was a chimney that ran up through the middle of this room at one point. Not any time in my lifetime, but at one point. And so, when we first started doing this, there was this thing that ran across the room, and it was a support for the chimney. And it was just, just like some 2 by 4s and then they also connected in the ground, um... And they connected to this 2x4 that ran across, and they went up to the ceiling, uh, or the top of the roof. And so, um, we were working in here cleaning it out and getting it ready and for the remodeling purposes. And so, this thing just sat in the middle of the room in the way, and it was just always in the way. And so, we were in here doing the... Uh, um, we started, my friends and I, a couple of my friends and I started doing the insulating in this, in this room. And, uh, so instead of, you know what, I might do this a different way. What if I, what if I bring these down a notch? I'll bet I can make this look better. I got an idea. Um, and so when we started doing the insulating... Um, you know, I gone and we had purchased the insulation and all that. Well, you're insulating the walls and then you hit this spot where this board is running into the wall on both sides. And so we're like, well, this is kind of in the way. And, and, uh, uh, and so my dad was like, well, we'll, we'll get to it and we'll get to it. And, uh, so we'll get to, it wasn't working for me because <laughs> we needed it done. And I was tired of. You know, we bought all these supplies, and they're just sitting around, and nobody's doing anything. And so, um, what I did was, I went ahead and uh, we tore it out. And, uh, and so then he's like, I can't believe you did that. I'm like, well, what were we supposed to do? It was in the way. I mean, we were careful. I mean, it's not like we tore holes in anything. Um, and uh, he's like, the whole, the whole roof could have come down and I'm like well were you going to remove that he's like yeah but I needed time to study it I'm like well it's been weeks weeks and this has been in the way for a while now and you knew it had to come down well, you could tore down the whole I'm like nope see look we put a cross beam in there to replace it just up higher and out of the way we're all good and he was upset that we had taken that thing out um, I don't know. And that's just, just how it went. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to try this. Because this was trim. Can I do this? Can I, this will work better. Can I take this out and put in this? Oh yeah, look at that. And that'll get us a trim corner. Look at that. Ha, ha, ha. That's right. And so, uh, you know, and then that's just kind of the way it went. And so um, with the wiring, though, uh, we, we started doing the wiring. And so I put in plugs here, plugs here. Uh, actually, there was, there was a plug here. There was a plug here. A plug here, 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 and a plug here. And so this plug here, I did all these plugs. Got them all in, got them all facing the right way and everything. And my brother put in this plug. And uh, he put it upside down. And I'm like, hey, we need to take that out. No, no, it'll be okay. I'm like, it's upside down. No, that's okay. It can just be in there like that. I'm like, it's upside down, though. Why can't we just undo it real quick? And no, no, just leave it the way it is. It's fine. We made sure it all works and everything. I'm like, but it's upside down. And you know what? That plug had a horrible short in it. I couldn't even use it. 
uh, for fear of burning the place down. What's really weird is that that plug was where the power came in, and so power was able to run through it, but you couldn't plug anything into it because um, it would melt the plug. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was it was a lot like um, I talked about uh, doing the uh, ceiling tile in the kitchen. Working on this room was like that. Um, they would spend hours just looking and I'd be like, uh, yeah, we can totally finish this off at some time, maybe. And they'd be like, oh, well, you know, we gotta, we gotta plan this out. I'm like, no, it's pretty much planned. I know what we're doing. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, like... Why would you get upset because we did the insulation that needed to be done? I wasn't ready for the insulation to be done. Well, you can't do anything else in the room. Well, we don't have all the all the floors swept out. And I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure we can sweep the floor with the insulation in the walls. Um, you know? Just saying. Okay. And then... Whoops, I totally missed. Uh, yes. It took a long time to finish. I don't think this room got finished for close to 10 years. Uh, because of that kind of stuff. Uh, at least 10 years. I, oh, and oh, let me tell you. I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you one more little story here, and then we'll call it a day. Let me tell you why it took 10 years. Um... So they remodeled the bathroom downstairs, right? And so downstairs was my mom picking out what everything looked like. And uh, so she had, uh, she, I don't know, I kind of want to save that for when we talk about the bathroom. But let's, let's just tell the bathroom story. We'll go down, we'll look at the bathroom here, and we'll talk about the bathroom. Let me just get this one line of boards here. We'll go down, we'll put up a wall in the bathroom so that'll give me an excuse to be able to talk about the bathroom. And, uh... <laughs> uh, you know, I brought that purple up here so I could fill in this gap right here. I can't do it from the inside. Ouch. Uh, I'm gonna grab some... Uh, some diorite here to do the bathroom walls in. Diorite. Okay, so I guess there's a, a combo story here from the room that became my room and the bathroom. So I had a couple of sheets of the a couple of sheets for the um, for the uh, bedroom upstairs, the the one that we were just at, and so. Those sheets were supposed to finish off, uh, finish off the uh, the room, and uh, so I'm pretty sure this is what the bathroom kind of looked like here. I think it had gray white walls, anyways, and so because uh, we bought. We bought all almost every every piece of sheet rock or sheet rock no paneling that we needed sheet rock. Why did I say sheet rock? And so um, the uh, what in the world is that there for? And so uh, I had like two panel pieces of paneling. Well, no, I had like three. Three, we'll say. Uh, one of them had been cut, but I thought I could use it to finish off one of the other pieces. Let's go back up here and look. And so what we had was uh, one of them... Get through the door, man. One had been cut to fit the angles. And so we still had a piece of that left over. And then we had two big sheets that were left over. Now, obviously, we needed uh, most of one of the sheets to finish the front of this. And uh, But there was also this gap over top of the the door here that uh, we actually used as an entryway into the 
over the ceiling of this room as the attic. And, uh, and so, um, with that, this was just open for years and we had like plastic over it. Now I talked about how the house had bats. And so what would happen is the bats would come into this room through this opening. And so, you know, I would always be trying to plastic it down, hook it all up so nothing could get through. And, uh, and so for, for years, you know, we had, and I do mean years, just this big, I'm probably going to change this here, just this big opening over top of the door. And, um, it was, it was triangular shaped because of the, the way the roof goes, which I kind of, oh, dang it. I needed to be up there. That's why I was up there. I didn't want to fall off. Thank you. And uh, so we've got the. Oh man, I'm out of, I'm out of oak stairs here. I need some more. And so. Uh, okay, maybe we can maybe we can just we'll fake it with some, some. Uh, dark oak here. I need to know where the the roof meets here, is the problem, and the easiest way is just to do this. Can I just do it from above here? Yeah. Oh. That is not over top of the door. Oh, it'll never be over top of the door anyways. Um, well, maybe we can get this over top of the door. Let me let me think about this for a little bit. But anyways, so we had this big opening here, right, that, that led to over top of this. And so when we cleaned out the attic, we used this as storage. And so I only had a couple of sheets of the... Uh, of the outside of this, and these is stuff I I bought, and uh, so I don't remember what they took the first sheet for and used it, but I wasn't home when they took the first sheet, and they're like, oh, well, we needed it for something, so then I only had one and a half sheets left to finish, and so they they were remodeling the bathroom, which for some reason they decided they need to remodel the bathroom before they uh, before they finished uh, the upstairs. And, um, and so for some unknown reason, they decided once again, I don't believe I was home when it went down. They decided that they should probably use my last remaining sheet of this exterior paneling and the place we bought it from didn't have it anymore. Uh, and so there was no place to get it. Why are you hanging out in that building? Stop it. And, uh, so they just went ahead and they thought it'd be okay to take my last remaining sheet and, uh, and they cut holes in it for the, I, I don't know why they thought this would be a good idea, but they took external unfinished, like you had to sand it and stain it and stuff, um, sheet of plywood that has a textured side to it, which is what was going up in the room, and used it as the back wall to the shower. Yeah, the back wall of the shower. What did I do? This is wrong. Wait. Oh, I see what happened here. Oh, uh, this should be the wall. Whoopsies. I'm going to have to redo these walls, man. I screwed them up. Oh, I don't know why you're cutting that out. That didn't need to be cut out. Uh, and so I didn't have the proper paneling to finish it off. And then some years later, 
um, they finally had some that was really similar. It didn't quite match, but it was pretty close. And so I was finally able to get the last couple pieces of paneling that I needed to finish off um, to finish off that room. And, uh, you know, so it finally did get finished, but man, ugh, sometimes, sometimes. All right. I think that's enough complaining about remodeling for today. Uh, now, next time, I'll have some more animal stories. Because I have some more animal stories from what went down up in my bedroom here. Um, with some curious critters. And uh, no no squirrels anymore. Just, just that one squirrel story. Um, but we can talk a little bit about bats. And I got a couple more creatures that wandered their way in. Um, <laughs> which made for some interesting, interesting, uh, I don't know, sleeping habits, I guess, for a while. But, uh, alright, click like, like, subscribe, be sure to catch the next one, I'll talk to you later.